Today we're talking about the best practices on how to get the most out of your DoD meat box. First thing you need to know is that the DoD meat box is not strictly a bass pedal. It actually works really good on bass and guitar. The big thing you need to know when you're playing on guitar is that around the B string or so, at least on the guitar I'm playing, the meat box tends to lose track and has trouble like picking up the note to then do a sub note of. And my fix for this so I don't have to think about it too hard is to do an octave down on a pitch bender before the meat box. That way it gets all the note information it needs. <laughs> The next thing to keep in mind is that the meat box is a stacker. It's not a pedal you really want to use by itself all that often, especially on bass. So here's clean. And here's just the meat box. As you can tell, there's still a lot of information there, but there's so much low end that you're losing your upper mids and stuff like that that really helps you get your definition. So if you want both that nice little rumbly and some other stuff, I suggest stacking in a distortion. And I think the DoD FX69B, the grunge pedal, is a hugely underrated pedal for distorting bass. Here it is with the meat box and the grunge pedal. <laughs> So you're getting all the nice low end and a lot more definition. I think it's a really rock and bass tone if I say so myself. And that same combo, but you know, adding in the electroharmonics pitchfork works really well on guitar also. <laughs> Hey YouTube viewers, hope you're enjoying the video so far. I got a little midway PSA for you. First off, obviously do all the YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, yada yada. But also, story time. When I had started this channel, I had hoped that I could use it to fund my own pedal buying habits. The idea being, of course, that I would buy a pedal, make a video, make money, do it again. I have bought the pedals, in fact I have tripled my collection of pedals, but I've not made any money. Yet there are many more pedals, but not much more money. So I'm asking for investment. Here are my Venmo, my PayPal, my Cash App handles. And I would love it if you could help me fund the pedal purchase for the next video. For instance, I'm looking at the Space Echo RE202, the Line 6 DL4 Mark II, the Line 6 DL4 Mark I, the Way Huge Atreides, the Proteus Sample Hold Filter. And I'm thinking if there's a particular pedal you want to see, let me know in a message along with your really kind donation. I'll be keeping track of the votes and be sure to follow the crowd. Whoever gets the most votes, that's going to be the first video. And hey, it doesn't have to be on the list. Like, say, maybe you want me to really do a big, expansive video into an original Klon Centaur. Anyways, it would be super helpful for supporting this channel. It's really a labor of love and I want to keep doing it, but it's a lot of work and money. But hey, if you're not in a place where you can donate right now, I totally understand, don't even worry about it. But liking, commenting, and subscribing are also huge helps to the channel. And watch all my videos. Twice. Now I think the DoD is a must-have if, say, you're a guitarist in a band without a bass player, or if you're a bassist in a band without a guitar player. In both cases, it really helps you, like, open up your range to take up more space and fill out what might be missing. It's gonna be the same lick on the bass, but the Electroharmonics Pitchfork is now an octave up instead of an octave down, since we know the uh, DoD Meat Box will actually take up those lower notes. As far as the surprising pedal, it actually pairs really well with. Uh, the Gonculator is kind of taking the cake. I think next time I build a bass pedal board, the Gonculator will definitely be on there. 
using that ring mod actually surprisingly adds a just the right kind of like dirt to it, if you know what I mean. Another pedal to pair it with that works surprisingly well on guitar is actually the DoD envelope filter. And you want to put it before the meat box. I saw someone else do this and I was kind of surprised it worked, but uh, yeah, you get some really sultry tones out of it. Again though, I'm putting my octave down going into it, and I think that makes for a much more smooth sort of sound. <laughs> But it's important to keep in mind that chords still don't work well with this sound. Real quick, let's talk about the controls on the DoD Meat Box. The original DoD Meat Box FX32 had some weird terms on it, like flank, rump, pounds, and something else. But on the reissue, they made the controls a lot more easy to understand. You got output, which is obviously the overall volume of the pedal. Octave, that's for the octave down that it generates. But the parts that really set this pedal apart are going to be the low and the sub. This is something that most octave pedals just don't have. The low introduces a subharmonic around 60 hertz or so, depending on what note you're hitting. And the sub introduces another one around 35 hertz or so, depending on what note you're hitting. And that's what really blows the speaker, if you know what I'm talking about. And that's the DoD Meat Box. I hope you got some fun ideas about how to use it. If you're like me and you saw this nifty reissue they were selling for $150 off the Digitech Harmon website, and if you're like me, a month later you saw you were selling them for $75 and felt like you were gypped a bit, it's one for pedal stonks, that's for sure. Some fun DoD news, most people know that they were owned by Digitech and that Digitech was bought by Harmon, and in years you know, previous, uh, it seemed like they were ramping down production, they were only selling like the biggest hits. And uh, it's because that Samsung had bought um, Harman, which owned Digitech, and they were ramping down production. I guess they didn't really think there was a lot of money to be made in these pedals. But now it looks like DoD and Digitech might have been bought by yet another company. Could be exciting. Maybe they'll start re-releasing all these issues and drive the prices down. Or maybe they won't and you want to get a hold of one of these as fast as you can. And that's why you want to see this video to know if it's actually for you. I hope that showed you that you can get some really fun tones out of it, no matter if you're playing bass or guitar or something else. Have a good one, enjoy, and get a DoD Meat Box.